dose, vapes. Keep your coils tight. Keep your wicks wet. If you're looking for new flavors, I'm all up on the clouds, bro. Filling up a clear road, we're dripping on the sub. really special today yeah uh, something that me and Josh have been using for about a week uh, we're both we're just gonna be upfront about it we're both really really big fans of this device love it yeah. Anakin baby did it really did it I mean this, it. this time more than any other time did it. they have really really gone above and beyond with this device yeah and they've talked taken a lot of um, just personal issues that we've had with the mm -hmm. devices and seem to have fixed those that's not because of us that's because a lot of people have those same issues and so they're fixing. They're which, listening they're, to the community, which, which is, is huge. Fucking dope. Yep. Yep. Um, that's the thing about Inikin is that I think a lot of people, um, you know, uh, they they think of Inikin as being a company that focuses on uh, new on new vapors, right? Which beginners. to a, to a, an extent they do, which is good. But they're stepping their game. But they are definitely trying to think of the rest of us as well. Um, mm -hmm. The one we're looking at today is the Oceanus. Right? The Iroar Oceanus. Iroar Oceanus, yeah. And then they also included a, a new version of their, um, what's it called? Scion. Scion tank with a rebuildable deck. Dope. And dope, gonna, dope, dope. And we're going to show you all that stuff. And these are things that we have personally um, requested, you know, from Anakin in our videos from previous devices. is saying yeah. we need things like rebuildable, yeah. the rebuildable tanks. We need things like um, a, a powerful device. And this kind of addresses all those issues. Um, let's go up close, check out the, the ins and outs of this, yeah. and then we'll, then we'll give us the and, and before we jump down, um, I just want to say something. Before this, the new Scion came out with the rebuildable deck, um, far and away I thought it was the best sub ohm tank out there. Yes. Far and away. Yep. Um, they had .5 coils, which were actual, actually three coils inside and uh that went anywhere from 70 to 110 right i mean you're fucking rocking yep and never got dry fucking you know wick never like leaked. leaked never leaked no, no, no. wick like a champ they did make point two coils which were very which was one coil very wide and that one just didn't match up as well with the wattage and stuff because uh, you needed like 200 watts. You had to really one. overpower your your uh, your unit there. So, but the, that Scion with those 0.5 coils, ridiculous. And then they dropped the rebuildable section. What else can you add? Which I have it's been using beautiful. every day, not just to test this device. No, but because I've been wanting to use this device. You love it. Yeah. I, same here. And it's like it takes all the things that are great about the Scion, like the flavor production of the Scion, the mm -hmm. vapor production of the Scion, which has always been really good. The easy fill, the all easy that fill. good stuff. Yeah, they do everything right on this device, and then to add in the, the fact that you can put it in your own coils, um, it just takes it to a whole new level. Let's just say you're vaping. You're vaping for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> You start tasting your coils going a little bad. But it's like 8 o'clock in the evening. You don't want to bust out all your shit and, like, you know, you know, uh, make a mess and go to bed with a mess on the table. They have they have the fucking... Uh, the pre-made. The pre-made. Yeah. Coils. You can they, just dump a coil in there. rock. Yep. So you can dump, you know, that pre-made coil in there, fill it up, you're ready for the next day, and then when you get home from work tomorrow, you can rebuild your fucking rebuildable. Yep. Love that shit. Absolutely. I love it. Me too. They, Having the they options. They nailed it. Yeah. And the rebuildable section, which you'll see here in a second, um, isn't a half-assed one. No. It's they use the velocity style deck. Um, it has plenty of room. The way that it wicks is brainless. I mean, you can fucking, Dude. you could be a fucking dummy and it's, wick this it's perfectly. It's literally the easiest wicking I've ever done in my yeah. life. Like, I, you could do it. Uh, with your eyes closed. Absolutely. Literally. You just stuff it in there. You just stuff it in you'll there. See that, you'll see it here in a second. It's, it's just done. Yeah, okay, it's very hard. Up close with yeah. the Oceanus Iroar from Inakin. This is their latest and greatest new uh, device and uh, kit, really, is what because it, it comes with the tank and the mod and uh, the batteries. Everything you're going to need to start vaping or to just have a really enjoyable vape experience is going to be right here in this box. So when we open it up, you're going to go ahead and pull this out of the sleeve. It opens up, you know, a gatefold style, like an old PC game or something. And uh, on this side, you're going to have accessories, so the box comes out, as well as the instruction uh, booklet that, that is really well done, um, extremely well written, uh, 
no ingress or any of that stuff that has plagued, uh, you know, devices coming from China in the past. It even has, you know, really well done instructions on how to fill the tank because the tank is a top fill tank, so it's just really great. Um, on this side, you're going to go ahead and open that up and you're going to get your uh, device itself. This is the mod. This is the actual Oceanus. I have mine in white. And it comes in other colors as well. Got the screen here on the side. We'll see this a little bit more uh, up close here in a second. Comes with the Scion tank, which you know has really been my favorite uh, sub ohm tank to date. You know, to be totally honest. As well as a, uh, it comes with a rebuildable section, a uh, installed pre-made coil, um, as well as an extra glass tank section, which is like one of those bubble style tanks, which, you know, depending on what you find aesthetically pleasing, you're either going to love or hate. So it will increase your, your um, capacity a little bit, but really it, it kind of bubbles it out and it really looks like, it looks like this. This is exactly what it will look like. This is another bubble section tank for Minikin. So uh, I prefer the normal, you know, straight side tanks, but, um, you know, some people really like those. And then it's going to come with two 2700 uh, cell batteries which are the new hotness, you know, everybody's, you know, talking about these. It's a 3000 mAh, uh, 40 amp battery. So between 30 and 40 amps is what it's rated for. So, which is really amazing. And it comes with these little sleeves so you can take the batteries with you as well. All right, so um, that's what comes in the box. Now let's go up close and look at the Okay, device. so here's the actual mod itself. Um, as you can see, here's the screen on the side. Now, some people have complained that the screen is on the side, but for me as a righty, when I'm holding it in my right hand, um, all I have to do is actually turn the mod towards myself and I'm seeing the screen. I'm usually always holding it in this way anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, the screen is always visible to me, so which I find it to be extremely, extremely well placed. Um, the button, the fire button is really, really nice. Nice clicky button. Um, the up and down buttons also have a nice feedback. They're very nice and clicky. Um, the 510 section there, as you can see, yeah, so let's go ahead and throw a battery in here. You're just gonna pull the back off. It's an extremely compact design, which I love. Um, you know, the, it's half battery, really. And the rest is stuffed into this little section here, which, <clears throat> excuse me again, which I find really, really awesome. This fits so well in the hand, so. Let's go ahead and pull one of these batteries out. I'm gonna stick it in here. All right, and then we throw, which has magnetic plates on it, so it's gonna, gonna fit right on there. It's a little heavy, but it's but it's really really compact, and it just feels nice. Here's your charging port right here. Um, like I said, um, my battery charger that I have at home will accept uh, these 2700 cell batteries, so it's not an issue for me. But if you don't have a battery charger at all, you can still buy this device and charge the batteries through this USB um, charging port, which is great. So there's the screen. Click it three times for it to come on and it's gonna give you all the information right there. Now this device does go up to 110 watts, um, which might not be enough for some people, but for me, I found it to be um, really, really um, outputting power in, in a true sense that when it says it's giving you 110 watts, it's giving you 110 watts. There seems to be very, very, if, if any, um, very little, if any, um, battery drop off from this device or battery sag. So yeah, I've, I've used uh, coils at, at point 0.1 exactly and turned it up to 110 watts like in the Goon, for instance, which fits on here perfectly, which I'll show you in a second. And I've had no problems getting a really, really nice, satisfying vape. So um, let me throw the Goon on here real quick just to show you how okay, that So works. here's the Oceanus with, um, you know, this is not from Anakin, obviously. This is a Goon, but I just wanted to put it on there to show you that um, 24 millimeter devices will sit flush onto this, um, onto this mod with no overhang from the side. So. deck section for the Scion tank that's gonna come with this Oceanus kit. Um, go ahead and screw this off. Now I have a pair of Fuse Clapton's installed in here. And as you can see, it is a two post velocity style deck. It has grub screws there to um, fit your coils or to tighten down your, your uh, leads. Um, it has big giant airflow right underneath the coils there. And to wick it, all you literally have to do is um, inside here, there's little holes uh, on either side of the airflow, and you just stuff the cotton down in there. I mean, you don't want to overstuff it, but uh, it's extremely easy to wick. Uh, you, I've wicked it several times, and I've had no problems uh, at any point with leaking or with um, wicking. So, 
yeah, it's just it just works and it works really really well, and um, it's easy to install coils, and has great flavor and and really is far and away my first choice as far as um, rebuildable tanks at this point. I've been using this pretty much exclusively. So, all right, okay. So here is the Scion tank with the um, rebuildable deck section installed. As you can see, this Scion has um, pretty massive airflow coming un underneath the coils there, one on each side. So yeah, the tank here that I have is white to match the Oceanus itself. And then to fill these tanks, all you're gonna need to do is pop the top off and you have three major uh, juice um, filling ports there on top. You know, it's excellent. You know, what makes this tank so great as well is that it has a very short um, barrel and um, you know it's a it's a very condensed small deck so it has just great flavor it does put off major clouds though as well because of all the airflow that you're getting in here and um, it does come with re, you know the rebuildable deck section like I was saying but it also comes with um, installed when you first get the, the device itself it comes uh, with a pre-made coil from Inigan which are also really really good um, you know I'm not a big fan of rebuild or uh, pre-built coils but I have to be honest in that these Inican ones are one last thing. So here's what the device looks like when it is completely assembled. Um, the, the white on white here, the white Scion tank with the white Oceanus. It just looks nice. You've got your black buttons. Yeah, it looks good. And there is the bottom if anybody was curious. And I just want to talk a little bit about the way it feels in your hand. It's fucking perfect. For me. Yeah. You know. I'm not one that has really large hands or anything, but um, it just feels right. The button is the button clicky, is dope. and it feels amazing. Um, um, the menu system is extremely easy to navigate. Some people have an issue with the menu being on the side. Oh, I don't. Me either, huh? uh, that doesn't bother me at all. I think sometimes when the menu is up here, you're more likely to get juice into it or get fingerprints on it, shit like that. I, I don't mind it on the side. If you're a righty, and you're gonna hold it in your hand like this. Yeah. Actually, you're gonna be able to see that menu better all the time, and not have to, and not have to turn it around. Yeah. I can see the menu every time I hit it. Yeah. Right. Just little things. Yeah. That, uh, that they've nailed. And we haven't even mentioned probably one of the biggest things about this. Yeah, device buddy. Is that it uses the new 2020 20 yeah. uh battery cell. So it's these the huge big fucking big dogs. It uh, it's got 3,000 mAh in one battery. And it also has a 30 to 40 amp um, limit on it. So yeah. these are amazing cells. This, this is like the new, new. Everybody is, is trying to jump on the 2700 train. And um, Inican has done it. And, and really, really we well. see why. Yeah, absolutely. And, oh my God, <laughs> this kit that we got sent was like the most... Um, complete? Complete kit we had ever gotten. And we've, we've gotten quite a few kits. But this thing had, it had the mod... It had the Scion tank with a couple of uh, pre-built coils. It had the RTA section. This motherfucker had two of the 2700 batteries yep. ready to go. Um, what the f and then all your fucking shin bangs and your boom booms. You know had tons. Had, had some cotton. Oh. It came with two. Um, it came with two Clapton coils right. to put in there. Right. right. Like just. The most complete kit you can imagine. It's one of the only kits I've ever seen that you can literally buy that kit and be vape. Go home and vape. Without a doubt. I right. mean, uh, if you don't have a, even if you didn't have a battery charger, um, you can charge these batteries via a cell phone charger um, right yeah. in the mod. Yeah. So if this you, is something. If you're, in a, if you're stuck in a position or if you don't have a charger. If, this, yeah. if it's a new vapor, right, and you want to give them something that they can both use as a new vapor, but also it can grow with them. Um, this kit is going to be the first thing I recommend because dope, dope kit. you don't have to have anything else in order to You don't to have to buy them. extra batteries, which are always, a, you know, an extra expenditure. They're there. Yep. I and mean, the kit is complete. Yep. Beautiful. So dope. Absolutely. So dope. Yeah. We are gushing but, because but, it's amazing. Because it's a great device. And I highly recommend everybody pick one of these up. Um, if you're curious about the 2700 uh, cells themselves, uh, this is a great way to jump into that. Yep, absolutely. Because they're made by Anakin. Anakin stands for safety. Um, you know, I trust a battery coming from Anakin made for their product. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah, gotta love it, bro.
I'm going to give it a 4.5. I think it's a fucking amazing device. It's, it's without a doubt the best thing that Inokin has ever produced, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. While it only goes to 110 watts, this 110 watts, to it's me, true. Yeah. is a true 110 watts, and it, and it powers just as well as their Ultra, which was 150 watts. I feel like this gives me just as much power. And it doesn't power sag. Nope. You know, if, you, if you're up to the actual 110, it, it won't sag on you. It's it's just giving you the power. I have this thing at 110 watts, no matter what device I'm using on it, and it always just works. So Beautiful work, Inakin. Yep. <clears throat> you can't say much more about it. I mean, you did it. That's you did it. it. You did it. Congratulations. Um, yeah, anybody looking for a new kit or looking to get like their wife or their husband into vaping, this kit would be perfect. Yeah. Without a doubt. Because, you know, a lot of the mods people see these days are fucking huge or they're tiny or they're... And this thing's right in the middle. I mean, it's, it's comfortable and it's got the power you need. It's there. It's ready to go. It's just and that Scion tank so well can't be beat, bro. No. Especially with the rebuildable section now. That really takes it to a whole new level. It really blew me away yeah. when you told me that. I was like, these motherfuckers are doing it. Yep. They're really listening to our to our suggestions. They really are. Good to work. us as a community, yeah. not to me and Josh. Yeah, good work, Anakin. Yeah. No doubt. Yep. Keep them coming, man. We've enjoyed them all. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else they do. Jesus, I really right? can't, you know? Yeah. They're killing it. Totally killing it. Cool. Thanks for staying tuned. What are you going to score it? Oh, I'm going to score this son of a bitch a 4.7. Damn. Love it. Love it. And this is right up Josh's alley. I, yeah, I haven't put it down since I got it. You know. I even fucking look at Leah Cross Eye when she grabs it to take a vape. I'm like, what you doing? Get your hands off that. Because you broke yours. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a good Christmas present for Leah. That's right. We'll get her her own. Yeah, if any of you guys want to buy something by Leah, fucking like <laughs> We know what she wants. <laughs> she wants to know she is. We love y'all. Thanks for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Anna Ken. Yep. It's and, been dope. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep going.